ba 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 Here we are, Pudges in Blue Bell PA. Very special. I have Radin from Czechoslovakia flew all the way in just to do this challenge. This is a very famous challenge in our area. It's a two foot monster cheesesteak, five large orders of fries, and a large soda. The catch is you only have 30 minutes to do it. Now, we are able to finish this in 30 minutes. We get the entire meal for free, a t shirt, and you win the jackpot, which currently stands at $195. It looks good. Let's go. Half hour. I think I'm gonna start these French fries. Mm. Welcome to another video. As I mentioned earlier, this is a special one because of Redeem from Czechoslovakia. I've known him online for years, but this is the first time we ever actually met. So I'm excited to be doing a challenge with him. We're actually doing two individual challenges. This is not a team challenge. Redeem's gonna do it in his style, and I'm gonna do it my way. And my style is gonna be extreme neat eating. I'm gonna act as if I was out at a restaurant for dinner and eat the exact same way. Every once in a while, you might see me comment to these little children that are cheering us on. We appreciate the support. With French fries, I usually pick up three or four. I line them up and then I uh, eat them that way but I just filmed a video two days prior to this where I ate the exact same amount of french fries and I didn't use any ketchup and I did not want to try that for this video. So I'm going heavy with the ketchup in this video. I have a plate on the other side of this tray where I'm dunking them in. I'm using so much ketchup, I already need to refill my plate. So I reach for the bottle and then this happens. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> that was a surprise. The lid of the ketchup flew off and I made a huge mess everywhere. First time that ever happened to me. Well, that was a little exciting. It certainly woke me up, but I was more embarrassed than anything. I still have plenty of fries left, guys. I got fries for days. It's only three and a half pounds of fries. The reason it's taking so long is eating this way is painfully slow. Behind us up here, that's actually a drawing of the owner, the founder of Pudges. There's an unrequested fun fact for you, just like the ones I give out to my family when I'm out with them. But there's a lot of French fries left, so we have to do some serious French fry fast forwarding. The fries I have left are all covered in ketchup. I wouldn't normally use my fingers and get all messy, so I had to use my fork. Take a little bit longer. Got okay, 13 happens in the fries are done. Radim's right there. Now this is a pepperoni cheesesteak on a toasted roll. This is how I do my cheesesteaks. It's provolone cheese. It was at this point I knew I was in trouble. We spent so much time setting up and taking pictures, and then of course eating the french fries first. By the time I got to the sandwich, it was stone cold. Don't get me wrong, I am a huge fan of Pudges. When I lived closer, I was here often just because they serve huge, delicious portions. But my fault, I let the cheesesteak get too cold. Look at this. If you can pick up this much cheesesteak meat on a tiny fork and it stays together, you let the sandwich get cold. Things aren't moving along too fast with this fork. It's a obviously a small fork. Most people don't use a fork in a cheesesteak shop. So they have these small ones and I typically would use the big spoon that I always carry with me whenever I film. 
just makes it easier to do challenges. I only had one with me though, and I didn't think that was fair to use it myself and not have Vadim also use a big spoon. Neither one of us look like we're eating too quickly right now. I'm not sure how Rod's feeling. I know I feel good. However, I'm starting to enter panic mode. Not full-blown panic, but panic nonetheless. My only hope is I can finally get this cheesesteak down far enough where I can pick it up and eat it as a whole sandwich. And I'm hoping that that roll helps me swallow the cold meat quicker. I walked in here, and this steak's bigger than this guy. This one right here, Jesus. When I was that age, I could eat that, that too. If I had a dollar for every time I heard one of those comments, I would have been retired decades ago. I'm not sure who he's referring to. If he's talking about Rod, so the guy saying that when he was young, he was a top 25 competitive eater in the world. If he's talking about me, he's saying when he was 56, he's a top competitive eater. Come on now. All right, I am in a jam now. I've been almost out of liquid for uh, quite some time. I've been taking tiny sips and since I'm trying to do this like I would if I came here for dinner, there's no waitress service in this restaurant. So I'm required to go up and get the refill myself, which is not a problem, but I'm trying to time it where there's no one in line at the soda fountain, so I don't have to go up there and wait. So I keep checking out if anyone's up there, now's the time to make my move and go get a refill. I timed it just right, so I was really happy. I only used 52 seconds to get two refills. However, there are gonna be some precious seconds. This is gonna be close. The good news is now I have plenty of liquid to finish the challenge. The bad news is eating the cheesesteak in sandwich form does not make it any quicker than eating it off a plastic fork. It is still cold and it is still slow going. All right, I'm truly getting desperate now. I switched to the other half of the cheesesteak. I don't know why, just hoping it might be faster and I can blow through this side. We'll see. I quickly find out that the other half is just as slow as the first half, and at this point you start wondering what's going on with your life, the decisions that got you to this point, the decision to add pepperoni to the cheesesteak because you love pepperoni on your cheesesteaks, even though it's not required, making it a heavier challenge than required. Yeah, a lot goes through your mind right about this point when you realize that you probably are going to be paying $63 for a cheesesteak that was stone cold. Down to the last minute, this is gonna be close. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't think Radim's gonna make it. But I can tell you this right now. I guarantee you, if you come to my channel next week, there'll be a rematch, and I'm gonna to try to take this down. Same neat eating. Uh, that was a hard challenge, and I got a bunch left over. That was not a stuff that I've left over here. I want to thank uh, Radim for filming with me today, though, uh, coming from Czechoslovakia. Please check out his channel. I'll link him in the description below. He does a lot of great eating stunts, travels uh, extensively, so it's a good channel to check out. Thank you very much, Radim. Mm, thank you. Of course, I lost it last week, the first time around.